Welcome back to Pokemon Fire Red. I'm Kevaloco. Last time, we got our first Pokemon, Squirtle, known as Drasil. We went to Viridian City to get an item for Professor Oak, and we came back and got the Pokedex. So now, we are going to start our journey. Uh, I know um, that ass muncher Gary said not to come to his house, so I am not going to listen to him. Grandpa asked you to run an errand? Jeez, that's lazy of him. Here, this will help you. And that's how you get the town map. So, screw you, Gary. Alright. But yeah, uh, let's check on our mother. Kevin, you should take a quick rest. Yeah, uh, you could go to your house and it's basically like a Pokemon Center. Yeah, cheap, easy Pokemon Center. Alright. Let's, uh, head up this way. Level 3. Uh, we haven't tried Bubble yet. Yeah, um, Bubble actually has a chance of lowering a Pokemon's speed. Which, um, Squirtle isn't the fastest Pokemon in the world, but this will help it get a little faster. Uh, it kind of sucks that, um, Squirtle had an adamant nature, but eh, I can't do anything about that. But yeah, I'm going to make this work. Alright, uh... Well, we made it to Viridian City. So, what's, uh, what's here for us? Uh, let's see. The Eternally Green Paradise. I go shopping occasionally in Pewter City. I have to take the wind, uh, winding trail in Viridian Forest when I go. Well, now that I had my coffee, that's what I needed to get going. Sounds like my friend Lauren. Anyway. Hmm, what's that red box you got there? Ah, so you're working on your Pokedex. Then let me give you a word of advice. When you catch a Pokemon, the Pokemon automatically updates its data. You don't know how to catch a Pokemon? I suppose I better show you then. Yeah, we got your typical tutorials for beginning uh, beginning of the game. Alright, you got your um, healing items, your key items, and then your Pokeballs. But yeah, Professor Oak said that um, some healthy Pokemon could get away. Apparently this one can't. I mean, you could get very lucky on catching these things, but, eh, I wouldn't hold my breath. There, now tell me that wasn't educational, wasn't it? In here, take this too. You obtain the Teachy TV. This is what's used for your tutorials, basically the whole game. Anything you want to know on the Teachy TV will probably have it. Ooh, let's see this uh, Pokeball here. Let's pick it up. It's a potion. Yeah, items are actually Pokeballs. But I am gonna head this way. It's kind of funny that I run into this. Uh, Mankey, uh, when it evolves, it is it becomes the fastest fighting type in the game. And just for that reason, I actually want to catch this for the team. Um, I believe I think I have a nickname for him already. 
All right, let's uh, try out our Pokeball. There you go. All right, um, a mountain Pokemon. Mankey, the pig Pokemon, light and agile on its feet and ferocious in temperament. When angered, it flies into an uncontrollable frenzy. Ugh. All right, we'll give it a nickname. The nickname I want to give it is... Tantrum. Yeah, it's a stupid nickname, but eh, we'll roll with it. Alright, let's uh, check out our new friend, Tantrum. A quiet nature. See, this is the nature I wanted uh, Squirt uh, Squirtle to be, or Drasil. But yeah, Vital Spirit, it prevents sleep. So, this thing can't be put to sleep. So, I guess it's time to heal. Yeah, you don't want to go out that way where we caught Mankey just yet. Because you will have a boss fight. But for now, um, I am actually going to do some quick off-screen training, and then uh, we'll meet back at the route where we got Mickey. And we are back. Um, right now, I... Shit, wrong box. Alright, so Tantrum is now at level 7. And uh, at level 6, it learned Low Kick. And Drasil's at level 8. Alright, um, I am going to switch to Drasil. Alright. So, as you try to go this way, it's the asshole. Hey Gary, eh, not Gary. Hey Kevin, you're off to the Pokemon League? Forget about it. You probably don't have any badges, do you? The guard won't let you through without them. By the way, did your Pokemon get any stronger? All right, you'll have two Pokemon. He will start off with Pidgey level nine, keen eye for its ability. I believe it'll know Tackle and Sand Attack and Quick Attack. Alright. Use Bubble. Yeah, Sand, uh, sand Attack lowers accuracy. And so that's kind of bad for... Seal. Come on, please. Yeah, this um, Pokemon will spam Sand Attack a lot. Alright, so far so good. Let's try Bubble. Sweet. Alright. Oh, shit. Come on. Critical hit. Give me a critical hit. I, I have a feeling it's going to use a uh, quick attack. So I'm going to heal. Or just going to... you got to be kidding me. That was dumb. Steel grew to level 9. Alright. 
I, uh, let's switch a tantrum. Alright, Bulbasaur, level 9, overgrow for its ability, it will have Tackle, Growl, and Leech Seed. Uh, Leech Seed will zap um, health gradually. Alright, let's use Scratch. Oh man, that didn't work out the way I hoped. Uh-oh. I'm in trouble. Alright, good try, Tantrum. Alright, Drazeal, let's finish this off. Use Tackle. Ooh, so close to another level. Aw, you just lucked out. Actually, yeah, I did. Fair enough. I heard the Pokemon League is crawling with tough trainers. I have to figure out how to get past them. You should quit dawdling and get a move on. God, he's such an ass. Anyway. Well, there's also two more Pokemon here. Yeah, Mankey's not one of them. Or is it three more? Um, I believe at a 10% chance you could find Spiro. Uh, Spiro is actually a, a more aggressive version of Pidgey. It's faster and it hits harder. Which, I actually prefer Spiro other than, uh, uh, to Pidgey. But, that's, that's my opinion. And then, you could also find, uh, I believe in Leaf Green, uh, Nidoran Female. Which is pretty defensive. And then, in Fire Red, you get Nidoran Male, which is more offensive. Basically the same, uh, basically the same Pokemon, just focusing on different stats. Alright, well, now let's uh, head this way. Uh, I'm not going to use your TGTV. Alright, now we are on Route 2. And I believe uh, this is the first place you could encounter a Caterpie. But, that's... Uh, let's talk to this guy. Or person. Raditz may be small, but don't underestimate it. its wicked bite. Have you caught one already? No, because it sucks. Are you going into the Viridian Forest? It's a natural maze in there. Be careful that you don't get lost. Oh, I plan on getting lost. Alright. Since we made it to the Viridian Forest, I think we'll end this here. Next time, we are going to go through the Viridian Forest. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Take care.